it happens. In today's Ohio Country Life vlog, we're going to talk about finishing up some food plots and getting a start on the addition to the lean-to in the barn for the tractor. What I'm doing now is broadcasting some sorghum in, some grain sorghum. I got about six or seven of these little strip plots that I want to put in. Just broadcasting it in. We're supposed to be getting some heavy rain here soon. So I wanted to get this in, get the call to packer over it. And one, two, I got four more to go. Well, I'm certainly not going to bore you with this whole video of me walking around a field broadcasting sorghum. So while I'm finishing these little patches up, let me jump you over to the other day when we started construction, or at least putting the posts in, on the addition to the pole barn. All right, we got one set, four more to go. All right, so the last post is getting set here. We're not using any quick creed or concrete or anything. We tamped everything down pretty good. The posts are down like 43 inches. And behind the barn here, there is a good mix of clay, sand, stone. It's gonna be fine. Just for putting a lean-to off the back of the barn here to store the tractor, that's all we need. I am glad that we got a start on this. At least got the posts in. It'll probably be another six months before this thing's complete. It's not because I'm lazy, it's just that time and money are never together here at the Schick Homestead. So I'm just going to have to pick at it over the next few months. But the building permits good for two years, so I'm in no rush. But I will be glad once this is completed because I'll be able to store some implements in this open bay and then down at the other end, I'll be able to store the tractor, totally enclosed with a bay door of some sort at the end. We did finally get the main garden in, which isn't a lot. We just got tomatoes, some bell peppers, and the rest of it's basically zucchini. We go through a lot of zucchini. And when these six plants get to their maturity size and start growing zucchini, they're gonna be three, four feet around and three, four feet tall, so they need plenty of space. 
It's hard to see, but I got a row of uh, Texas sweet onions in the back. Doesn't look like much now, but here in a week or so, they'll pop up. And in a couple months, hopefully get some softball size onions, sweet onions. And as I've mentioned before, the salt's doing its magic on the asparagus beds. These are still relatively new beds. They've only been in a couple, oh, about three, four years, but we've probably gotten, I'm gonna say, seven, eight meals so far of asparagus. And we'll continue to cut some for probably another two, three weeks. This asparagus bed here, this is only a couple years old. And we've only harvested a few out of this bed. That's why I'm letting all these go right here to establish a good, uh, strong root system. It'll just pay dividends down the road to let a lot of these go another year, or most of them anyway. In a previous video, I talked about Lori and I using the charcoal grill a little bit more often compared to the propane grill we got. And there's nothing wrong with the propane. I'm having a hell of a time saying propane. There's nothing wrong with that grill. We just like using charcoal every once in a while. And I'll tell you, I mean, part of, part of the fun of using this is cracking a few beers and playing with the, the lighter fluid and the torch. It's part of the whole experience of grilling with charcoal. But if you're in a hurry, this stuff here, this Kingford or Kingsford match light, this stuff works. No lighter fluid at all needed. Just pour a bunch in there strike it at lights and it just keeps going and going and going until you got a nice hot bed of coals to cook on I didn't even know something like this existed and I might even do a review on this down the road but this is some good stuff you'll notice behind me here too we finally got our little 15 foot uh, in text pool put up it's still filling with water we need to power wash the outside get it treated but I mean, it's been 80, high 80s here the last couple days. Now that's going to dip back down into the 70s here soon. But I know right around the corner it's going to be back in the 80s. And well, while it's not a glamorous pool, it sure is refreshing to jump in in the summertime to cool off. Now hopefully here in the next couple years, Lori and I will bite the bullet and we'll have a little bit more permanent pool installed. One that we can just leave up year round and build a nice deck at least at one end of it. But for now, that's gonna have to do. I had some three quarter inch plywood left. It's a little bit nicer plywood with a good veneer top. And I thought I'd make a shelf to bolt to the top railing of this pool over here. Just a place to put a little portable radio, a little shelter to keep a little cooler of beverages. And then at this end, I made a little slot for the dipper or skimmer. And maybe we'll have a fly swatter up here, or some bug spray or suntan lotion or whatever. But I think once it gets painted up and I get it installed on that railing with some U-bolts, it'll come in handy. Well, thanks for joining me here today on Schick Happens on this Ohio Country Life vlog. That wind's starting to pick up a little bit. Uh, for those of you that are concerned that the Schickster might not be around anymore, I can assure you there will be some videos of his coming up soon. Just not in the frequency that they used to. But anyway, thanks again for joining me here today. And if you enjoyed this video and you're not already subscribed to the channel, please consider doing so. Cheers.